Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to show you how I have created my Christmas, rustic Christmas latern and pot. Uh, I have used dye from Sizzix, uh, Bix Sizzix dye tumbler for the base of that pot and uh, of that latern and then I have used uh, another Bix Sizzix dye, uh, dye stars for decorating that pot and also a 3D embossing po uh, folder for decorating the latern. I have used that uh, lattice trim uh, be made by Tim Holtz, designed by Tim Holtz. So let's get started. Uh, from heavy cardboard boxes uh, I cut pieces uh, in the size similar with the, the big die to make sure that I will have some leftovers because these leftovers I wanted to use for frames for my latern. Uh, I have cut the base of that tumbler, uh, tumbler big Sizzix dies which I will use for pots and that leftover uh, I have used for creating the frames for my latern. I just used my EK tool ruler which is wonderful for making some, you know, some measurement. Uh, it has wonderful, wonderful, it's wonderful tool. So I use that tool to make a frame all around uh, of that uh, negative cut. And uh, these, I made four of them and these frames uh, I glued together using hot glue gun. When I have glued all four sides together, I put glue on the bottom of this latern and I glue it to another piece of cardboard box and then uh, with my cutting knife I just cut that uh, that cardboard box around the base of my latern. I used uh, hot glue gun to seal all those uh, four sides which are glued to cardboard box to make it more stronger. And then uh, I used uh, hot glue gun uh, to seal all those four sides. Uh, I did seal this way all sides of uh, this latern later also uh, on pot same way to make it uh, more strong and to protect that uh, material that paper from uh, the water because it will be outside so to keep it at least for this Christmas uh, I use quite lots of glue to seal all these uh, open open sides uh, for the top of my latern I have uh, cut two small squares which I glued on the on the roof of my latern to make it stronger and also decorative. And as you can see in the video I sealed all four sides of these squares with hot glue gun again to make it more stronger and more uh, hopefully to keep it for this Christmas. Then I glued together uh, the pieces I cut for for my Christmas pot. The similar way I glued together uh, parts for that latern. And again I put glue on the base of this pot, on that bottom bottom square of this pot and I glue it to a piece of cardboard box to make uh, the bottom of that pot. And with the knife I cut that cardboard box around and again <coughs> I sealed all these open sides to protect that cardboard box from uh, getting wet too too fast. You will see see later that I made a mix for painting. Uh, 
uh, on those sides of that pot I used stars which I cut again from cardboard boxes and I did use that uh, big Sizzix star, uh, stars uh, cutting die. Uh, you will don't see that in this video, but uh, I used hot glue gun on all sides uh, of those stars. Every single each of those stars, I kind of sealed uh, also on those open sides, um, which you can see on cardboard boxes. For the painting, I mixed together uh, black acrylic paint with a Mod Podge. Uh, I mix it half half, and with this mixture. Uh, I painted uh, my latern and also that pot. I used three coats, so hopefully it will kind of seal it and protect it from the getting wet. To make a metallic look, uh, I did another mix. I used white acrylic paint and black acrylic paint and water, and I made a kind of very watery grey mix and uh, first I dub it on my latern and also on that pot which is not here in this video but I dub 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 that color on that latern and then with wet uh, napkin or wet wipe I kind of uh, smush 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 that uh, painting to make invisible those brushes uh, those uh, brushes strokes when it was dry I did use uh, acrylic paint, uh, I showed you in the video that I've got a uh, Nouveau acrylic paint, silver acrylic paint and then another uh, choice which I had, it's Arte, which is brilliant uh, acrylic medium but I didn't use it on, on this latin or on that pot and again uh, I'm gonna use uh, that dab 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 uh, technique to add this silvery look and it will make that a uh, rusty look of old metal inside i paint the uh, the latin full with that acrylic paint when uh, it was dry i used utah rope uh, and i glued utah rope on all bottom of this latin and then uh, i cut from can from a metal can from some energy drink i cut strips using uh, that uh, tim holtz 3d embossing folder and i glued uh, this can first on the paper on the cardstock to make it uh, much better you know much better to work with when it has uh, it is backed with paper it's much more easy to glue it anywhere you want. So I glued that can on the paper, then I cut those strips using that 3D embossing, uh, embossing folder. And then I glue it on the bottom of my latin like decoration. Uh, for the top of my latin, I choose to decorate it with a kind of a hook or a hanger. And uh, I've got those half circles here, those metal half circles here from my old handbag. I saved that. So from the Utah rope, I have created a holder for those uh, metal half rings. You can see that in that video how I made it. And uh, I glue it on uh, two sides of my latin, uh, on two top sides of my latin. And then to seal it properly, I use that Utah rope all around uh, of this of this square of that roof of that latin. For the holder uh, of this latin, I used again Utah rope. Uh, I measured how long piece I will need, and then I seal it uh, around those half. Uh, circles, those metal half circles, and to make it more strong, uh, sealed, and uh, also more decorative, I used Utah string, which I wrapped around uh, that holder, that Utah holder, and I seal it again with hot glue gun because it's quick and it's hold fast. So all these pieces are glued together with hot glue gun.
that uh, rustic uh, look, I decided to make also a rusty uh, effect on uh, these two parts. I'm using Mod Podge Mix uh, with uh, with special powder. This powder is using uh, when you are making models like uh, airplanes, you know, those small models. Uh, there is so many uh, products you can buy. Uh, I found this on Amazon. It's from Humbral uh, company and it's called Weathering Powder and I bought a rusty color which I'm using here. I made a mix which I'm keeping for myself in that uh, plastic pot. Uh, I mix it with Mod Podge, a little bit of that rustic powder and uh, I'm adding that mix uh, on my latin and uh, I did it on uh, that pot before as well. Once it's drying, it's getting a little bit darker, which is brilliant. Uh, I'm kind of smushing all that mixture with my finger. It makes a uh, much, much better effect when you smush it some, sometimes a little bit. And when I put quite a lot of this mixture, I'm using uh, that wet wipe. To wipe it off a little bit because I don't want to have it too much rusty. I just want to have here and there some rusty effects. And that's all what I have created and then I just place it uh, on my steps front of the door. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this small craft. Uh, thank you so so much for all your amazing comments. Thank you so much also for your uh, beautiful messages I, I received lately. Uh, if you know what has happened into my family, we have a very sad time right now. So thank you so very much for all your support. I, I appreciate that so, so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. Thank you so much for visiting me today and see you next time. Bye.